Lincoln Mercury presents the summer feature attraction starring some of our most successful cars for 1985 at some of the best savings of the year. Right now, a fully equipped six-passenger Mercury Grand Marquis is priced $2,563 less than Olds 98 Regency and $2,222 less than the downsized Buick Electric. The summer feature attraction playing for a limited time only at a Lincoln Mercury dealer near you. Books cost too much, so I opened Crown Books. Now you'll never have to pay full price again. We have over 10,000 books to choose from. At Crown, every day, every New York Times bestseller hardback is 35% off. And every bestseller paperback is 25% off. And every new hardcover art, cook, and children's book is 20 to 50% off. Crown's one place you can't judge a book by its cover, price. So remember, if you paid full price, you didn't buy it at Crown Books. From out of the ocean comes a unique blended seafood. New delicacies. A delicious combination of select Pacific whitefish with king crab or scallop or shrimp and lobster meat. Delicacies. Honey, what's for dinner? Enjoy the good taste of fine seafood. Serve your family delicacies. A unique new seafood at family budget prices. This is terrific. Delicacies, now in the frozen food section. The Boy Scouts invade Virginia Tuesday, live at 6. Good evening. I'm Grant Tinker, chairman of NBC. Welcoming back regular viewers for more brand new broadcasts of Late at Night with Tom Letterman. It's Letterman, Mr. Tinker. It's, that's not an H. That's two T's. See the way they made the two T's? It look, just looks like an H. It's not. It's two T's. Well, it looks like an H. I know. That's what I said. I get it, I get it a lot, but it's, it's two T's. Uh-huh. The program and its staff have been on a short vacation, with pay in most cases, and now they're back, ready to give you more free television entertainment. We ask only that you have the common courtesy to pay attention to our messages from our commercial sponsors. They laid out good money for the airtime, so remember them the next time you're in a car lot or a discount house. Thank you. Why didn't you call me? We played some golf. I don't, I don't play golf. Uh-huh. Everybody's favorite sociological peculiarity, it's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight, comedian Richard Lewis, 77-year-old ballroom dancer Frey Gold, and musician Paquito de Rivera. Also, a look at people who won't be on the show and rush with stupidity. And now, a man who is the key to peace in the Middle East, David Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the program. My name is David Letterman. Let me, right here off the top, let me explain a couple of things. We're back from uh, vacation. We were actually gone, how many weeks, Bill? Three. Three weeks. And people say to me, Dave, what do you do on your vacation? And uh, I don't have to tell a lot of the people what I did because a lot of people came to see me every night in Dayton. I was uh, in a musical uh, play, a Broadway play, <laughs> Summer Stock, and uh, I had the, the lead role in Pippin. And it was a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, is something wrong or is it just me? Is it, it takes a minute to get reaccustomed to things. Do you hear a little echo? A little bit. A little echo. Is that all right? Do we usually have a little echo? Echo. 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 Oh, I see. The problem is not the echo. The problem is the audience. <laughs> no, we have a, a wonderful group of folks here. And uh, you're in town on a good, uh, a good week. There's a convention in town, but it's a small one, so I hope it's not an inconvenience. Uh, it's the uh, 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 Black Beach Boy fans. They're having their annual... <laughs> Very tiny, tiny, yes, it's a... 
I saw something interesting in the uh, New York uh, Times Post or News this morning. I can't remember which one. The most popular boy's name, if you're having a youngster, having a baby, and they tend to be youngsters, uh, the most popular boy's name now, guess what it is, Paul? You have any idea what it is? I have no idea. <laughs> Elwaz. <laughs> I don't know. A man from the studio audience yelled out, Elwaz. Now, this takes a little explanation, and I yeah. don't know why, but I will. Elwaz is an intern here on this uh, show, isn't she? That's right. And her name is Elwaz. Elwaz. It's not, uh, not Eloise. No, it's Elwaz. That's the way she pronounced yeah. it. Yeah. And thanks for screwing up a perfectly good <laughs> joke, sir. Uh, so what are the... Dave, huh? what are, I understand there are two very popular boys' names. That's in, right. Uh, See, this is how America. it's done. If you want to help, sir. <laughs> That's right, Paul. And the first one is what? First one I heard was Michael. Michael, yeah. yeah. Now, you would, you would assume that Michael would be among the, um, among the top most popular names. Now, the second one was a real surprise to me. Conan. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what we call television in this country, ladies and gentlemen. What are we doing now? Whatever you want. What are we doing now, Paul? What are we doing now? Where are you gonna, are you gonna tell us who's on the show today? No, no, we're going up into the audience. Go up there? We're gonna go visit with some of the... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. This is, uh, periodically we come up here into the audience, and tonight we're up here to talk to people about things they've done in their lifetime which are now considered, as they look back on them, to be silly or stupid. We call it brush with stupidity. Do we have music here, Paul? Stupid girl. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's like bit of note on Name That Tune, isn't it? Who do we have? Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm a little punchy. Mario Rosato. Is there a Mario Rosato here? Mario, please come down and pick up the keys to your new Buick. <laughs> Mario, we're, hi, Mario. Nice hi. to see you. How are you, sir? <laughs> Folks are applauding you, Mario. That's impressive. Yes, it certainly is. And uh, where, where are you from, Mario? Uh, from New York City. New York City? What do you do for a living? I go to school and go to work. Uh -huh. Where do you work? I work in a nursing home. In a nursing home? And where do you go to school? In Queensborough College. And what do you want to do when you graduate? Uh, work in a nursing home. Uh, are, are you on vacation now, Mario? Uh, no. You're not on vacation, so, okay. Uh, you're going to tell us about um, your brush with stupidity. Okay, yeah, and no. I hope it didn't happen at the nursing home. Please tell me. <laughs> Please tell me no, there's not some no. terrible thing that happened at no. the nursing home. Far away from this. Huh? Okay. Uh, my friends and I were driving around in my car one night, and uh, I asked my friend to take a look at my back speaker. So when he went in to take a look, we closed the trunk on. Oh, good idea. <laughs> so we know where these bumpy roads are, and we took them and we went back and forth. And you know, by now he's very irate. This went on for about uh -huh. 20, 30 minutes. Similar thing. Similar thing happened to Jimmy Hoffa, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, uh, you want to check the speaker for us? We're having some trouble. <laughs> And he was never heard from again. No, and then we, uh, we were ready to let him out, and we pulled over, and when we pulled over, a police car pulled up from behind. All right! It's a sort of a combination audience brush with the law. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> he, uh, he got me out of the car, he asked me for my license registration, and my friend's in the back, mm -hmm. and we're yelling to him in the back to be quiet. Yeah, cool. He wants to get out mm -hmm. badly. So the policeman asked me, for, he says, what are you doing? I says, we're having fun. He says, yeah, a little too much fun. Mm -hmm. like, You're right. <laughs> I'm trying to be as humble uh -huh. as I possibly Does can. Does he hear noises coming from the trunk at this, this point? This is what happens. My friend's in the back yelling, you guys, let me out, let me out. <laughs> he goes, what's going on back there? He says, no, no. And he points to one of my friends in the back seat. And he says, this guy looks like a troublemaker. And he, and, <laughs> and he says, no, 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 no. I'll, everything's fine. That's how everything's the police work here, isn't it, by the way? They just... <laughs> But it seemed, and, and he, my friend was yelling stuff like, you know, uh, words that I wouldn't be able well, to Well, sure. I, I, I think we all have a pretty good idea what he's yelling <laughs> after being in a trunk for an hour and a half. Something like, you jackass. Yeah, Let me out close of the enough. Car. That's so good. My, the cop yeah. would turn around and look. The cop would turn around and look and say, who said that? He says, no, 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 it was nothing. It was nothing. Let me out. You, you know, when, yeah. when this went on. And mm -hmm. finally, the police left, and we pulled over, and we... You let him out of the trunk. We let him out of the trunk. You mean the police didn't uh, hear the guy banging around back there? He... We... He, they did, they did, but they were Well, that's sure. interesting. Here, in this part of the country, a guy in the trunk, that's no problem. <laughs> but you don't signal for a turn, you're going downtown. Uh, do we have a little something for Mario? What do we have here? Oh, Mario, you're in luck. You have 
Does he get both or a choice? Well, we've been on vacation. Let's give him. Sure, both. you can have both. A sponge or late night with Ben Levinson. Nice meeting you, Mario. Thank you very much. How are we doing? Is there a bee dragon here? Steve, were you were telling me a little earlier that you'd be dragging here, lady, didn't you? Um, stop it, stop it, hold it, I'll clear this auditorium. Now, who hissed? Please, no, no hissing in the first half hour. Um, B, nice to see you, how are you? Where are you from, B? Newton, Massachusetts. Newton, Massachusetts? Yeah, I'm not familiar with the city, where is it? What part of the state? It's uh, not too far from Boston, uh -huh. it's... Uh, North and west of Boston. North and west of Boston? <laughs> I think. Uh -huh. How long have you lived there? Uh, 18 years. 18 years old. <laughs> I'll get used to it. Okay. Well, there's no sense in rushing into memorizing these details because uh, what do you do for a living there, B? Um, I'm a switchboard operator and receptionist for control data. Yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, thankless tech. work, isn't it? Yes. You, you do. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll... I shouldn't say that. I work for lovely people. Yeah, but the folks who call in large can, can sometimes be difficult. Sometimes. All right. Now tell me, uh, B, about your brush with the stupidity. It wasn't at work. Uh, a few years back when my kids were in elementary school, we had a Mayfair as a fundraiser, and my husband and I would work at the Mayfair. So my husband and my daughter got up early, went over early, and I came with my son because I had to finish decorating a fancy cake. So we went, we have a two-car garage. My son and daughter had left. My, my husband and daughter had left, sorry. And my son and I went, and I put him in back of the station wagon, gave him the cake very carefully, and said, be very careful. Now, wait a minute. We've... You didn't back over him, did you? No. <laughs> um, I was worried about the cake. Mm -hmm. So while I'm turning around and saying, Richard, be careful, the cake, don't <laughs> let anything happen, I backed out of the garage and crash, I hadn't opened the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No, it was a tremendous sound. Neighbors came from everywhere. <laughs> it was awful. Uh -huh. It was just terrible. What happened was my husband had taken the other car out, so I had walked in his door, mm -hmm. so I just didn't think of opening mine. I was busy and concerned about the cake. Uh -huh. When we went to the fair, I said to my, after we calmed the neighbors down and they helped pull the wreckage away, it was really, <laughs> it was a job getting yeah. what was left of the door off of the back of the Carrying car. Carrying out the dead and the wounded and so forth. Mm -hmm. And the door had glass windows. It was just terrible. When we got to the fair, I said, Richard, do not say a word to Daddy. He doesn't need this. You and I have been through a lot. Uh -huh. Please don't give it to Dad till we get home tonight. I gave him the cake, and he walked into the school with the cake, and I parked the car, and by the time I got there, everybody was turning around and laughing and pointing, and mm -hmm. I knew my son had spread the word. But at least with everybody laughing, my husband took it a little better. A little easier I, for him to I swallow the bad news. I am still surviving. Yeah. How <laughs> yeah. much damage did you do there? A tremendous amount. Yeah, all right. Uh, B, we, have, we have a little something for you. This is the Late well, Night with David Letterman you. sponge and, of really course, the highly wanted. coveted drinking cup. Thank you. Very kind. Nice to see you, B. Thank you very much. We don't have... Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let me... Is there a uh, Judy Bennis here? Judy, we're placing you on standby. In the event that for some reason the rest of our show is not as entertaining as it should be, you'll be invited down to tell your little story. Yeah, yeah but this hardly ever happens. <laughs> uh, we got a great show, and we'll be right back to prove it, folks. Hey. Hey, Once I'd like to be a little kid. That is what I'd truly like to be. Then I could eat an Oscar Mayer wiener instead of everybody eating me. A doggy hot dog. <laughs> At Oscar Mayer, we roast each and every hot dog to seal in that juicy roasted flavor everybody loves. I'm glad I'm not an Oscar Mayer wiener. Because soon there would be nothing left of me. She has this thing about her Levi's 501 jeans, the way they curve every curve that I've had the nerve to notice. 
They've been through stormy weather, wind to a feather, from good to bad and back together. They've shrunk to fit her exceptional form that I've been sincerely interested in keeping warm cause I got this thing about her and her Levi's 501 jeans. Nature Valley's new Dandy Bar. Chocolate caramel and a granola heart of gold. Dandy Bar! Underneath the chocolate, underneath the caramel. New Dandy Bar has a heart of gold. A heart of gold and chewy granola with chocolate chips. Oh, that rich milk chocolate, that creamy caramel. Oh, that chewy granola, heart of gold. Dandy Bar! Underneath the chocolate. Recently, an independent research firm ran a taste test between Coke and Pepsi. And the taste more people chose was the taste of Coca-Cola. Yes, more people all across the country, when comparing Coke to Pepsi, chose the taste of Coke as the better taste. Let's look at it this way. We gave America a choice, and more people said, Coke is in. It's a hit. It's a Coke. Welcome back, folks. We have a uh, wonderful program for you. Richard Lewis is here tonight also, a woman who is a uh, ballroom dance winner. Her name is Faye Gold, and I met her before the show. She looks like Mrs. Butterworth. Very, very nice, very sweet-looking, uh, very charming lady. And uh, also Paquito de Rivera will be joining us tonight and uh, playing with the band, I guess. Yes. And speaking of the band, Paul, you uh, worked in Philadelphia for the big Live Aid telecast. Worked that nutty Live Aid thing, yeah, boy. It was, was it really, exciting? It was great. It really was the greatest production of a rock event I've ever seen. Big course, stars from all over the world. A lot of big stars. Well, you know, a lot of rumors floating around as to who was going to show up. Uh -huh. For example? Well, once the Dylan thing was confirmed, he really did show up. Then the big rumor was, will Melissa Manchester show up? Uh -huh. and, yeah. Of course she did. <laughs> and uh, Steve and, uh, and Will and myself participated in the big We Are the World closing. We the played finale. in the band. Yeah. Sid couldn't make it, so we got Eric Clapton, Nile Rogers, and G.E. <laughs> Smith to play guitars. Uh, it was a great event, though. Now, I have, I have a photo of you taken, I believe, at the venue, the site really? of the gig. I haven't this, seen it. This would be JFK Stadium in Philadelphia. This would be Paul Schaefer. We need to get very tight on this, uh, Hal. And... Uh, uh, me and Michael Kleffner, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there Who, we are. Michael Kleffner? Yeah. So that's proof. I was there. <laughs> Michael Kleffner? Lefner was, uh, was there. Oh, I don't know exactly know what, what his function was. He got me on it, though. That's all I know. Uh -huh. he, you, no, no other description you could give us for, for Michael? Uh, he is a record business magnate. Oh, or, a record guy. Yeah. All or right, as you well, would say, a record business weasel. Weasel, yeah. I, I yeah. was going to say that, that, that explains the shirt then. Yeah. OK, that was it. Well, uh, good of you to do that, Paul. And nice to have you back here. I know. We've got uh, we to get going, don't we? Of course we do. Uh, my first guest tonight is a terrific comedian. He will be starring in his own special on Showtime this fall, and the special is called the Richard Lewis I'm in Pain Concert. <laughs> he will also be appearing in person this Thursday night at Zany's in Chicago. Please welcome Richard Lewis. <laughs> Nice to see you. You always dress, I don't know if this is the hippest clothing ever or if it's just old clothing. You look like you walked off an honor farm or something. Like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know. What could this be? <laughs> well, I don't know. I assumed you purchased it. Well, it is Juice from Emmett Kelly, a new boutique in L.A. <laughs> sure. Now, uh, this, is, this is the first time we've seen you this summer. How, how are you enjoying yourself? I'm fine. You back in Welcome New York back. for the summer? Uh, no, I'm never here. I wish that's why I think they don't have shops like this. Uh, that's anymore. L.A. stuff, yeah, isn't it? Forget yeah. it, man. Uh, I'm here for a while. I've been, uh, you know, I have family here. I was. <laughs> do you like being here in the summer? I do, but you know, I was, it's a little frantic though for me because I used, to, I, I love, you know, I'm, as if I need to be more anxious. It's frightening, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm walking in the park and uh, with some relatives, and uh, you know, I took a cab. I, I just, I don't drive here from L.A. It would take me about a hundred days to get here, so it's pointless yeah. to even tell you that. Uh, and we stop at an intersection. <laughs> And this cabbie, he was, he was talking to me. Apparently, he knew the show, and he, he recognized me or something. So he turned around like, he was like driving like the exorcist. And he turned around, and he smacked a little uh, a person in the front. Not a person, but in the car. Car, it's yeah. It's a little teeny, teeny yeah. tap, you know? Happens all the time. Yeah, I know, but this, it was like in the middle of rush hour, and this woman gets out. 
and she says, I can't have children. I can't have children. <laughs> And I go to the, well, I mean, I'm sorry, I was just thinking of Paul because I was there this morning and, uh, I mean, I don't know how to relax and, I mean, I'm looking at people, you know, they're running and all sorts of stuff and I see like a little outline of like a, like a bicycle, you know, people know, like it's, it's you know, you can ride on the path. I automatically say, oh my God, another Schwinn murder. You know, like, I don't, I don't, I can't relate to relaxation. No. I see a guy my age, he's running, has a little poodle, a little toy poodle with him and he's jogging. Bless you. You like to say God bless you on the show, aren't you? Do what? I said, God bless you. I guess I'm the only one who heard it. Yeah. I don't know. It's unbelievable. I'm somebody, saying... somebody in the audience sneezed. Probably the lady from Terre Haute. Was that you, ma'am? <laughs> yeah. It, was and it almost hit me. I was. I sat in the front row. We had trouble with her earlier. There she is. She's from Terre Haute, Indiana. Did she sneeze before too? No. She was just kind of. She was kind of, sort of a troublemaker. I think. <laughs> she's. Uh, she's in sales. What kind of sales was it, ma'am? <laughs> oh, la she sells ladies in Terre Haute. <laughs> Women slavery? I don't slavery? know. Terre Haute is, uh, well, anyway. No, but you, I mean, it was a last, I was in Vegas about seven years ago, not performing, just watching people. Mm -hmm. I saw, remind me, I saw, uh, what's his name, Wayne Newton, and I sat in the front row, like, from, you know, like Terre Haute, and he spit in the most amazing, it was like, uh, it was like he was blowing people away. He was like, it was like Sam Peckinpah, and, and he was killing people, and he's so rich, he was saying, I'm sorry, I killed you. I was, what do you, give him a pony, give him a pony. He was giving people, and I tried to get in the way of his spit, because he was giving premiums sure. away. He yeah. just nicked me, though. I got like a broiler or something, you know. Like, <laughs> uh, oh, so, oh, I see this poodle. I, oh, how you doing? I thought you gave me the peace sign. It's too late. <laughs> I see this poodle. What a crazy, sh this is the first day back. I'm yeah, not sure. it's a We're little loose. Things are a little loose. I feel like Van Gogh's bar mitzvah boy here. I don't know what this is. Anyway, so I'm in, I see this poodle, and it reminded me, I had a dog that committed suicide because, uh, I swear to God, my mother, I, my, I was thinking when I saw the poodle, it was a poodle, she said to the dog, you can't come in the house, and you can't go out of the house. Yeah. The dog went, you know, killed himself. And what, what was his alternative? Midair. Midair was the only thing he could do, you know. <laughs> so, he, you know, he blew his brains away, you know. So I see this guy uh, with this poodle, and I have a cousin who's a hunter. And I was, I just, I just obsessed, like, gee, you know, he, he has his, like, killer hunting dog. Uh, you know, I was just saying, I, I can't hunt, I'm too, you know, he, this guy, he goes out to kill, like, like, there's three left, like, uh, a yak that can sing Mammy, he'll go to Alaska, yeah, sure. you know, he gets, like, magazines, there are three left, that's the name of the uh -huh. magazine. So, uh, I'm not bringing a poodle, like, you know, in a marsh, you know, and blow away, like, a pheasant, and like, you know, get that, uh, pheasant, Pierre, and go, avec moi, you know, forget about it. I mean, I'm not going to bring a poodle, but forget that, man. I just, uh, where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm in, I'm really been on the road, and I've been, I had a bit. Now, I, you're glad to be off the I'm road. I'm beyond You glad. travel a lot, don't you? I was in Hotel from Hell last week in, near El Paso. They put me in a room. I think circus freaks ran the hotel. It was, like, frightening to me. Mm -hmm. I, I said, I got to go get the airport tomorrow. You got to get me. He said, well, uh, can you, we'll scare you at 8.15. That's mm -hmm. what they told me, okay? Scare you at 8.15. They'll scare me at 8.15. Yeah, yeah. And they had a bar from Hell next to it. It was like, uh with the most repressed group of salesmen I've ever seen in my life. They had like, uh, from four to six, Willie Loman hour, they had there, okay? And they gave them like three bowls of soup, just to sort of drop their heads in when they wanted to, you know? And uh, you've been on, well, you don't do it, you don't have to. It's frightening to be on the road. I, used to, I did, did a little of it, and it is difficult. It's beyond, it's, it's, it's frightening. I hate it. I, you know, what do you do last Saturday near El Paso? Yeah, but you make huge money. Yeah. In, in El Paso? El Paso is a, a lovely town. Do you know what I'm doing in El Paso on Saturday? Oh, you have to go to a, a commercial. Well, no, right? let's hear about this first. Well, I'm sitting in the room, and first of all, I couldn't use my cheapo, you know, new, whatever that sprint, whatever the hell it is, I don't know what I have, because I didn't have like phone a. System. Yeah, you I had to like paint system. on like push buttons. Uh -huh. You know, it's like depressing when you have, you know, you can't do it without <laughs> those buttons for some reason. It's like a torture. It was a torture phone. <laughs> you have and to I, paint on your own buttons? Well, they, I had to. They only had yeah. one phone. It was in the lobby, yeah. and was listening to when you're calling in this hotel, and they're watching a. Well, anyway, it's El Paso. And it's I'm, a nice town. Now there's a it's big. It's not a nice town. Did you town see the monument to the to the helium? I think they have helium deposits. Well, I was there outside of El Paso. Oh. So uh, and I'm in this uh, hotel and I'm watching. So yes, what do I do? Oh, I'm we watching. Gotta go here. Do you really? On. Yeah, we really have to go now. You just have to go to the bathroom. No, no, no. We're oh. right. uh, we'll be right back here with Richard Lewis. <laughs> I don't know. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'd go to college. Me yeah. too. I have the money. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I don't know. What are you going to do? You don't want those fries. What are you going to do, Jack? Eat your way to college? <laughs> really? really? I'm going to college on the new GI Bill. You serve full-time in the armed forces or part-time in the reserves, and you earn a lot of money for tuition. 
the new GI Bill. Are you using that pickle? Now for young men and women in the armed forces. It's a great place to start. See your local recruiter. New Seagram's Cooler. Taste it all. Taste it all. Reward yourself. New Seagram's Cooler. A great break from beer. Taste it all. More with it than wine. New Seagram's Cooler. Taste it all. A refreshing combination of cool white wine with a touch of crisp, sunny citrus. Tastes clean, fresh, refreshing. You deserve it. Refreshing Seagram's Cooler. It's earned the Seagram name. New Seagram's Cooler. Taste it all. All over this area, Pepco serves two million people. And we're always looking for ways to do it better. The switch is on to new ideas. One way is helping you manage your use of electricity so we can avoid building costly new power plants. To find out how you can use electricity more efficiently, call 833-7500. The switch is on. The Pepco, is on. where the switch is on to new ideas. Coming soon, the Jeep Comanche at your Greater Washington AMC Jeep Renault dealers. Okay. Welcome back, folks. All right, so now you're, uh, you're in El Paso. Whew. You're in a hotel outside of El Paso. Uh, so you're yeah. working a club, a comedy club. Yeah, there. and I'm, I'm watching TV. They had, just, they had one station. They had, you know, this bad cable. They had, like, stuff, I don't know, like the Three Stooges relaxed. Man, you see a movie like this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then I see that they have this, uh, it's all cartoons. With all due respect, children who are up this, I can't watch it for seven hours. I'm going nuts, you know? Uh -huh. And I start rationalizing by two. I'm saying, you know... Heckle and Jekyll, they're fairly bright men. You know. <laughs> I start reading, no, I, I stopped reading for a while. I don't know, I, I start, I don't know what happened to me. I, I got this, someone sent me a cassette. You have, you know, novels by cassette. It's sort of tragic when you, mm -hmm. you know. You, you listen to the... You do, you know. Yeah. I, I read, uh, I read Cat in the Hat last week. It was like, uh, just parallel park, that was it. You know, the whole novel, <laughs> boom, you know. So um, I then I go to the college. You know, you think college is great to play as a performative. But, you know, I'm getting older now, and uh, I realize I'm looking at people like 16, 17, and I get a little nervous that they don't understand some of the references. Sure. And I feel like I got to change and, uh, the joke mm -hmm. in the middle, which is frightening when you're on stage, you know. I, you know, I'm saying, uh, hey, you know, you know, back in the 50s, uh, Adelaide Stevenson, I mean Madonna. You know, like that. <laughs> It's sad. <laughs> then I go to Nashville. Wow, this is unbelievable. Are you, I'm sure you guys have been there. I would say at this hotel that has, for, for openers, a guitar-shaped pool. Mm -hmm. I, I would never make this up. I, wouldn't, I, I, I believe me, I would. I would how, imagine making up something like no. that and then doing a joke. Be, yeah. I should be assassinated. No. It's an actual pool. <laughs> it's a pool, and I don't like swim. I, mean, horrible. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't worn a bathing suit. I don't even think how, how long. But uh, I was watching these adults, as opposed to children, try mm -hmm. to swim, and the deep end, is like about a foot and a half because it's so well conceived architecturally because it's the neck of the guitar. It's insane. I'm, I'm, I'm watching people trying to do laps, you know, in the deep end. They're just literally like just giving five to the side of the pipe. And they apparently, the king, Elvis, may rest in peace, when he came down from uh, Memphis, he bought out this little bed and board place, like 40 rooms. And they, everything is like to the king, you know? It's like the, the king hot knock hockey room and the king. Everything is dedicated to the king. The what? The king what room? Knock hockey. Not it's, a, it's a little game with little. They have it there, you know. Knock hockey. You ever hear knock hockey? No. Yeah, it's, it's like a ping pong game. You know what that ping is. Ping pong. Yeah. Ping pong. I've heard of. Yeah. All right. So it's a game from hell. What can I tell you? It's a game from hell. <laughs> but and they have the room service menu written like Elvis probably ordered it like four in the morning when he was a little uh -huh. exhausted to say. The Least, you know? <laughs> I mean, like a Reuben sandwich, a Reuben sandwich was like, a uh, Reuben sandwich. But they wrote it like no, that. It was no, no, no. Uh, I had to order a Reuben sandwich with French uh, fries. And the guy came out and said, thank you very much. I mean, <laughs> as if that sounds like Elvis. I, I, I mean, I, that could have been Abe Vigoda. That could have been Abe Vigoda. Could have been Abe Vigoda. Then I go to Washington, D.C., frightening. Frightening. I, all the tours there. Some of the tours are dumb. I mean, you know, they take a lot of money to get mm -hmm. into the FBI tour. There's a billion people waiting. They have these roped off areas with a thousand people from, you know, trying to get to see like real stuff. Sure. And the guy says, Hi, welcome to the FBI. It says, uh, Picture Frank Nitty. Gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah, that's pretty much all. <laughs> then I go to the, the Ford Theater. You know, you would think like, uh, I don't know, 200 years ago, 150 years ago. I'm bad with history, but. Uh, 
you would think that people were weeping uncontrollably. I was, you know, he got shot there, you when know? When President Lincoln was assassinated. Boy, if it wasn't for you for clearing up my setups, they wouldn't have a clue what I was doing. Well, I appreciate it. You've always done that. I never thank, thank you publicly. Thank you. Really. Thank you. I could have been doing a math problem there, you know? <laughs> No, but I, so I go to, I mean, I don't mean to be facetious, <laughs> no, I really, you fine. really have helped, saved me many occasions. I appreciate uh, that. So I go to the, 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 the theater, right? I walk in, I have to stand up for this, I walk in, my, my, and there's no one there. And it was like, a, like an assassination attempt maitre d', like some kid they picked. Because I'm there with a friend, and no, I, where are you going? All of a sudden, this guy goes, table for two, table for two, he just leaves, how's your salad? He just leaps at you wherever you are. <laughs> Not funny, just a little theater I try to work uh -huh, out whenever yeah, I can. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and I was there, uh, you know, so now I'm back off the road and, uh... You're back off the road, and, and the question I always like to ask yeah. you, and, and maybe it's a, a little more personal than you'd uh, care to get into, but, you know, are you seeing anyone now? Uh, how, just, how's your, uh... Just a therapist, I don't see any, uh... Because I know the, the last time you were here, there was, there was someone that you were uh, very fond of, and I, is that still with us or not? No, I don't think it is. I don't, uh... <laughs> There should be some... I should know by now. I know. I know. We I, may not have time for this. Let yeah. me see. We don't have time for nah, this. Well, it's... All right. Well, just tell fine. us, are things good or bad for you now? The things, are, things are fine. I'm, uh, I mean, I'm between pain, and I feel good, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> going, to, going to Chicago. You're going to Chicago. Where is it, Chicago? Uh, Palantine, oh, oh, uh, Harper College. Oh, Zany's Zaney's in Chicago. Yeah, it's Thursday. And, and Harper, Harper College. Harper College? Palantine, yeah. Palantine and Harper College? Palantine, Illinois. Oh, Palantine, Illinois. Night, yeah. Palantine, I meant Illinois. Palantine. Palantine, Illinois. Uh, yeah, I meant Palantine. They're the twin cities, Palantine, Palantine. <laughs> separated by the Illinois River there. Yeah. Uh, well, good, Richard. I hope it's nice you. to see you again. And thanks, thanks for, for helping me with my. I'm not kidding. Anytime, I mean that. Anytime. Have a good summer. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. about to see a remarkable demonstration. Here comes Fujifilm with color pictures so true to life, it's a real breakthrough. Fuji HR Films, Fuji's advanced technology has developed ultra-thin color layers unlike any other film in the world. The thinner the layers, the sharper the picture and the truer the color. Get extraordinary Fuji high resolution films and get the true picture. Fuji 35 millimeter disc and 110. Oh, beautiful for summertime. For hiding from the rain. For cooling up when I get hot. For my first date with Jane. Oh, ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Delicious night or day. No matter when. It's my best friend. So buy some more today. Bring home ice cream. It's beautiful. Liza Minnelli in concert. Don't miss Barry Manilow. Miller Music at Merriweather Post. Liza Minnelli, July 29th and 30th. Barry Manilow, August 22, 23, and 24. Tickets at Ticketron or charge by phone. Call now. Gone with the Wind. Star Trek II. Here are some great reasons why you should join Arrows. Arrows has more convenient locations. Over 1,700 different titles for rent at just $2 the first night, a dollar each extra night. Fast, computerized checkout. Plus, your $15 membership gets you this movie guide. Monthly newsletters listing all the new releases. And a 10% discount on tapes and accessories. Join the video club that gives you more. Arrows. Team, Mr. T's back in the ring. Shut up, fool. I know what I'm doing. But things gotten a little rocky. Then on Riptide, when the boys gamble against the odds. That's unethical and it's un-American. Will it be lights out for Cody? And Remington Steel is lured to the Riviera and becomes the pawn in a deadly game. Tuesday. Here, Eddie. Take the car. Uh, no, thank you, Mr. McIntyre. We'll take the bus. Right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Gotta, Gotta get, get Mako. 
from rust, dents, and crashes to a great paint job. Mako brings your car back to life, all for a price lower than you'd expect. And accident claims, it's all part of the job at Mako. So when you have an uh-oh... Better get Mako! I used to go through all this before I dare use a bug spray here. Then I discovered this, Decon Exact. It kills bugs in places you don't dare spray. Look, I wouldn't dare spray here because spray splatter, but Decon Exact makes the job simple. Concentrates bug killing power in clear odorless lines. Bugs that touch them just crawl away and die. Decon Exact kills bugs in places you don't dare spray. Have you heard the myth that shampoos can only clean hair? For over 50 years, I've been formulating shampoos that not only clean, but moisturize and add thickness and sheen to the hair. Nexus Therapy Shampoo helps make your hair silky, shiny, and glowingly alive. Therapy is a thick, luxurious shampoo enriched with selected botanicals. Whether your hair is dry, thin, brittle, or oily, Nexus has a shampoo that's just right for you. Ask for your free trial size of Nexus Therapy Shampoo at these fine salons. What sport inspired the 1892 hit song, Daisy Bell, Tuesday? Welcome back to the show, folks. Coming up in the next half hour, Faye Gold will be here. This woman is a ballroom dancer, and she's uh, 77 years old also. Musician, musician Paquita de Rivera is here, and we're not sure how old he is. Um, <laughs> tomorrow, Richard Rothman will be with us. He is a talent agent, and comedian Jerry F uh, Seinfeld will be here. And also tomorrow, we're, is this true, we'll be broadcasting in stereo? <laughs> NBC is so excited about broadcasting in stereo. Uh, us, Friday Night Videos, The Tonight Show, and uh, they kicked off their big stereo service with, what else, the All-Star Baseball game last week. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it really added to my enjoyment of that contest. Oh, yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, see, they, they're making these, RCA is making these stereo TV things, and they think, well, what, what good are they if there are no shows in stereo? So now that's what they're doing and trying to move them. <laughs> Remember the disc player, the video disc player? Well, this could be another one of those. Um, what, oh, well, we're going to do this now. This is uh, the people who... Uh, uh, <laughs> people you won't be seeing on the show. Do we have music for that, Paul, or not? Okay. That's right, people who need people. Uh, I've got plenty of free time now, former Vice President Walter Mondale explained, and like anybody out of work, I cruise around with my buddies checking out the skirts. Have me on, Dave, and... Got to get right through this. We have a big show. But tomorrow night, stereo. Mark that down. Uh, I, I believe the uh, 6 o'clock, the uh, nightly news with Tom Brokaw, stereo tomorrow, too. <laughs> so go out and spend about $1,200 on one of those RCA stereo TVs, huh? Uh, wealthy dilettante Henry Block III wanted to come on and explain why he didn't go into the family tax preparation business. Uh, basically, Henry said, there are eight reasons. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, I've got a side to me most people don't know about, and I'd like to share it with your TV audience. ABC Newsman Peter Jenning told us. I suggested he try some of the clubs downtown first and then get in touch with us. Uh, Dana Foster told us about her intensive two-week training camp. She said, you'd be surprised how many people don't know how to use a chaise lounge. <laughs> In the second week, you get to use an actual piece of lawn furniture, but you've got to learn to crawl before you can lounge. This will be so much funnier in stereo tomorrow, folks. You can hear me bombing out of both sides of your TV. Okay. Okay, so I wonder how dead silence will sound in stereo. Well, find out tomorrow night, and the sets are only like $1,200, so get one for each room of the house. Uh, Dolores Feldman, uh, shown here in the center, wanted to be on the show and discuss her business, the first U.S. Chinese gay dating service. <laughs> we don't know. We, we've been off for about three weeks, and it takes a while to get back up to steam. Jacques Danton is the first man to successfully climb Orson Welles. <laughs> Most of our expedition stayed at the base camp around Orson's belt, he told us. And we lost Henri when Orson spilled potato salad on his beard. I'm just glad to be alive. 
Okay. Uh, Aldo Moretti, shown here, Pope John Paul's stunt double, wanted to come on. He wanted to be on the show to promote the new film, Smokey and the Pontiff. We said thanks, but no thanks. Uh, Dennis Gower wanted to be on the show to explain his unusual idea for a television game program. The guests would try to get away from me, Dennis explained. But then I would hunt them down and blow them away. We told him to phone Merv Griffin Productions. All right, we have... Okay. Uh, a Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor was set to be on the show. There she is in the middle. Uh, she, but we felt that her lively anecdote about a so-called date was inappropriate. So, uh, now, there's a good chance, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching at home, that this last joke was edited out of the section we call people not on the show. If you want to see what the joke was, would like to know what it was exactly, and the person responsible for taking it out of this fine broadcast, here is the man... <laughs> may not be worth the postage. Well, uh, we have to move on. We'll be right back. A delightful woman is here. Her name is Faye Gold, so come on back, folks. Yeah! Somewhere in all these dusty law books, a great idea got lost. The idea that law is for people, and people should be able to afford it. At Hyatt Legal Services, we took the fear out of legal fees. You can consult with one of our lawyers for just $20. And for cases like divorce, wills, accidents, and bankruptcy, we tell you our fee up front. I'm Joel Hyatt, and you have my word on it. We took the fear out of legal fees across the country and in your neighborhood. Pinky discount muffler shutters prices. Any make, any model. American cars, Japanese cars, German cars, English cars, Swedish cars, French cars, Italian cars, you name it. That's right, Katie. Thousands of car owners coast to coast are taking advantage of Meineke's discount prices. So when you need a muffler, check Meineke's prices. It's easy. Because chances are there's a Meineke shop near your home. Drive in today. Installed from 1893. Visit your local independently owned Meineke discount muffler shop today. Taking the day off was a great idea. Yeah. Now what do we do? Something new, something different. Like what? While you're thinking, have my antiperspirant. No. No? Try my spray. It's strong. Do something different. I did. I switched to Secret Solid. It works better than your wet spray. Better, huh? Then maybe... Ah, uh, Secret Solid's pH balanced for women. Now go and fix us some breakfast. Me? Do something new, something different. Secret Solid, strong enough for a man. But pH balanced for a woman. Hello, Linus. I see your blanket's out for washing. I feel so insecure. Security is why over 43 million people trust Metropolitan to ensure their lives and health and homes and cars and retirement. Does Metropolitan give out blankets? No, but the world-famous Metropolitan Life Representative is the very symbol of security in an uncertain world. You're right. I feel better already. Get met. It pays. Okay, uh, this next woman is a, a really a, a terrific lady. She is the winner of the regional Fred Astaire Dance Studios competition in the Cha-Cha and Tango divisions. And you know, those are the toughest divisions. I think Baltimore and Toronto are both in those divisions. Now, my pleasure, please, to welcome Faye Gold. Come on out, Faye. Hi, Faye, how are you? Nice to see you. Watch your step. You look terrific. Thank you. You're, you're very, I met you earlier, and you're, gee, you're very charming. Thank you Thank for being you so here. Much. Now, you won the big contest. Yes, I did. Have you been doing this all your life, dancing oh, a no, lot? No, no. When did you start? Less than two years ago. No kidding. Oh, I used to dance early in my life, uh -huh. you know, but finally I decided it was about time to get these weary legs moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and you, you, two years after you, after you started, you were able to win this contest. Yeah. Now, what kind of competition did you have? A lot of folks? Well, I went up against about three or four other couples. Mm -hmm. 
and we won first mm -hmm. with my partner Edwin Marrero. I understand we're going to meet Edwin in a oh, few minutes. Oh yes, yeah, he's yeah. adorable. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's 27, I'm 77. Yeah. <laughs> now they 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 they're being cute because they think maybe there's romantic activity going on between you oh, and Edwin. Oh, I Edwin. wouldn't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in privacy. In fact, the Constitution of the United States takes care of that, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> the Constitution of New York State has a law on that. Well, I think the Fifth Amendment covered ballroom dancing. <laughs> um, now... You know, I'm enjoying this so much, you're going to have a hard time getting me off. Well, no, we... we... <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. How often, how often do you go out dancing? Well, I take an hour lesson every week. Every week? And then we have two practice sessions a mm -hmm. month, about two hours, and we dance with all the instructors and marvelous dancers. Are there a lot of places in New York where you can go and dance? Oh, there are, well, I only go to this studio, but there are about five studios in you, greater New York. Do you go to Roseland? Do they still have no, ballroom dancing over there? They do, but I don't go. Why don't you go over there? Well, because this is all I need here, you know, oh, three I see. times. Yeah. Do you meet a lot of people? Is this a real good oh, social yes, activity for you? Oh, it's a marvelous social yeah. life. And fine people, too. Mm -hmm. And what's the most difficult thing about, what is your best dance? Tango? Cha-cha? Mambo. Mambo. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very good at Latin dances, but I love the cha-cha. Do people, do a lot of people still do these dances? Oh, my God. It's get, coming back bigger than ever. Now, what about the dances we see, like, on American Disco? Bandstand and, and, and dance it's clubs? Too. Around it has, everything has Do you do any way. of that? I don't get out much around to that. I'm too busy. Yeah, yeah. But do you like that kind of dancing or not? Yes, I do. I no, do it you at don't. home. You hate it. I you do hate it. it, don't you? No, I don't hate it. You don't, no. you don't care for it, though, do you? I do like it. No, you don't. No. Come on, Faye. You don't think much of it, do you? You know, I love you, so I'm going to say, okay, you're right. I don't like it. <laughs> um, now, but it seems to me that some of the things people are doing today maybe doesn't require the timing or skill that what you do does. Is that fair to say? I think it does. I think if you get up on the floor and move to that wonderful music, mu music like Paul's, you know, and you can move, you're a dancer. Yeah. Now show me. Oh, would you like me? Yeah, to, let's see a little something. Would you like me to let's, teach let's you? Let's see. Yeah, teach me a little something here. I'll teach you how to do a cha cha. All right. Well, no, no, that's not, not the cha cha. Faye, I'm over here. Faye, Faye. <laughs> thought, thought you were going to get a cab or something. No, no, not anything but the cha-cha. How about a little, what is this? Something, teach me something uh, like this. You don't have to learn that. Oh. It's a constant symptom. All right, anything but the cha-cha. I don't want to do that. Why not? Uh, I'm going to look like easiest. a jerk. No, it's easy. It's easy, please. All right, you do a little, and then, and then let me... Wait a minute. One, one two, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Paul, watch one, my purse, two, please. Three. Okay. Now let's let's do what's the other? What's the mama? Now you can do it. Do it. Five steps. All right. Go. One, two. One, two, three. Back. Forward. One, two, three. Forward. Back. One, two, three. Okay, that's it, that's it. Right, right, right. What? We have now. Now, wait a minute, Faye. We, we, wait a minute. She can't be stopped. Someone stop her. Faye, now we, we want to meet your uh, your partner. Okay. Do we have time to bring the gentleman out? His yes. name again is? Edwin. Edwin. Edwin Marrero. And I understand you picked out this outfit he's wearing. Is that true? Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, let's hear it. It's called a cat skin. All right, let's bring him out. Edwin. <laughs> Edwin, come
over 30 years, Tupperware has revolutionized food storage. Now we've revolutionized food preparation. Tupperware, now you're cooking? Introducing Ultra 21 Ovenware. Tupperware, now you're cooking. A unique new material lets you freeze, microwave, and even bake at high temperatures. Tupperware, now you're cooking. Ultra 21, it's guaranteed for life. Tupperware, now you're cooking. Call us for a free demonstration. I want more bits, more bits, more bits. My cables and bits and bits and bits. I want more bits, more bits, more bits. My cables and bits and bits and bits. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. More crunchy bits, more chewy bits, more different kinds of bits than any leading dry dog food. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. More bits in every bite. More bits. This bird's for you. For being on the job and working hard all day. So here's to you You know there's no one else Who does it quite the way you do For all you do This bird's for you This bird's for you Fresher, getting hot Difference is, you're not Introducing new band solid. The difference is the dryness. Now, a new solid with a wide oval shape. A solid dry enough to be banned. Eyes on you. Pressure's higher. Difference is, you stay drier. New band solid. The difference is the dryness. Keeps you drier than the leading solid antiperspirant. Under pressure, under stress. Difference is, you feel fresh. New band super dry solid. The difference is the dryness. In 1980, my next guest defected from his native Cuba and moved to New York City. In five short years, he has established himself as one of the hottest jazz musicians working today. This is his latest album, folks. It's called Why Not? Paquito de Rivera. Please say hello to him. Paquito!
We're going to talk in a second. We'll be right back, folks. Thank you guys over there. Do you know me? It's frightening how many novels of suspense I've written. But still, when I'm not recognized, it just kills me. So instead of saying I wrote carry, I carry the American Express card. Without it, isn't life a little scary? To apply for the card, look for an application and take one. The American Express card. Don't be home without it. Soft touch. Go ahead, touch. Boy, you are soft <laughs> and fluffy. I'm soft on Mom's pocketbook, too. Here, you play with the bear, and I'll play with the banner. No, I want the banner. <laughs> I'll give you the blanket and the bear. <laughs> I want the banner. Banner toilet tissue. It's the soft Ooh. touch. <laughs> they like me. This may be the best time ever to buy a truck from your Nissan Datsun dealers. They've just received their biggest shipment of cars and trucks in history, so they're dealing, and you still get 8.8% financing. But 8.8 ends August 2nd, and so does up to 1350 in savings. Select from our tremendous inventory and from 16 tough models. Nissan dealers have been selling small trucks longer than anyone. Pick and choose, you can't lose. Truck buying doesn't get any better than this. Get your best deal now at your Washington area Nissan Datsun dealer. Okay, Paquito, that was terrific. You sound very nice. Oh, thank you very much. With that band, it's just easy to sound good. Well, you sound terrific also. <laughs> uh, Toots Thielmans is on this record. Oh, yeah, thanks God. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been on our show several times. There's a small picture oh, of Toots yeah. down there. He's one of the greatest musicians on the face of the earth. Yeah. Uh, and it, you've been in this country, what, five years, did we say? Five years, yeah. Anything still difficult for you, to, uh, or are you pretty well adjusted? Well, well the, the uh, temperature, you know. Temperature. The weather. Too uh, warm, too cold? Too cold. In Miami, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's too cold for me. Did you see I am on a diet now? Yeah, no, I didn't notice you're on a diet. I, I am looking better now, right? <laughs> <laughs> since, since I've never seen you before, sure, you look great. Um, Paquito, nice to have you here. Uh, we gotta go, folks. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs> Saturday, drop in on Michael Nesman in television parts. I recognize him from the monkeys, but what's the plot? It's a whole new world of late night laughs where the music is magic and the comedy gets carried away. You kind of get hooked on being goofed up. On Michael Nesmith's television parts. Where the cool guys are. Saturday.